Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Gary Bowden. His presenter, Class of 2007 Hall of Famer, Dr. John Galen. Gary Bowden has coached for 35 years, 20 years in California, and the past 15 years in Oregon. He has a career record of 324 wins, 75 losses, and three ties. While at Canyon High School, his teams won five CIF Southern Section Championships, three seconds and one third. He also had 19 league championships, including 14 in a row. Four teams ranked in the top 20 in the nation, eight teams ranked number one in Orange County, and five ranked second. He had five teams in a row go undefeated, accumulating an overall record of 86-0. In 1989, Gary was selected as the California Wrestling Coach of the Year. Individually, Gary has coached 121 league champs, 16 CIF champs, 9 Masters champs, and 8 state champs, along with 5 national champs. His Thurston High School team in Oregon won the 4A Big School State Championships in 2002, and Gary was voted the Oregon Coach of the Year. In 2003, Gary was a Northwest Regional Coach of the Year and a finalist for National Coach of the Year. He continues today to still coach as a volunteer assistant and at 61 years, he still wrestles every day in practice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Gary Bowden. He didn't say how well I wrestled. Uh, Lynn, I got a problem with this program. How did you get my face to look so fat and Debobian? <laughs> Debobian looks so skinny. This is trick photography or something. Get him out. Get him out. I really wanted to go alphabetically. I'd, I'd like to thank the Fullerton Police Department <laughs> for not hiring me in 1970. <laughs> I would have been such a terrible cop, and at the time I was devastated. I remember I thought it was the end of everything. What am I going to do? And I was terrible. Um, I also, I want to thank John Dalem, who's my mentor. I can't r remember the number of times I'd call him late at night with problems, and he'd he'd always answer and help me. And he is my example of what a wrestling coach should be. So I'm proud to have known him. Roy Bevan, who started. Uh, Canyon Wrestling with me in 73 and Harris Oishi who finished it with me in 92 when I left and all the uh, wrestlers who coached for me, had at least 25 kids who stayed at Canyon and coached um, so many I can't name them but my friends who were here tonight and uh, all the wrestlers who came here to see us uh, this was such a reunion tonight, it was so much fun uh, my family my kids are all here. My, my daughter from North Carolina and her husband surprised me. I didn't know they were coming. It scared me, actually, when they jumped out. <laughs> Couldn't figure out in my old brain what was going on. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that I'm probably the, the only person that may have ever stood in this position who quit wrestling. I uh, went out my freshman year, and I lasted about three and a half weeks. It was in Colorado, and I, and I quit. I was 0-5. I wasn't weak or anything, I just didn't get it. And, and uh, I remember my first match, my friend said, go out there, shoot a double, pick him up, throw him down, pin him. So I went out there, shot, picked him up, threw him down, he stepped over me and pinned me. And I walked off, scratched my head, I just didn't know what was going on, and so I, I quit. And um, my parents moved to New York, and I decided to give another try, and I won my first match. And that lit a fire in me that still burns today. Um, it's funny how people get the jobs that they end up in. I was working at Disneyland uh, Jungle Cruise <laughs> and shooting hippos. I was Seymour. That was my name, Seymour Jungle. And um, Ike Isaacson was the athletic director at Villa Park, and Ike um, was security guard there. And he came up to me and he said, uh, Hey, uh, didn't you wrestle in college? Yeah. Can you coach? I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to coach? Sure. <laughs> and that's really how it started. 
I became the assistant coach at Villa Park, which many of my kids never knew until tonight and were not real happy about. Um, I remember after we won our first couple of CF titles, I was, you know, young and pretty full of myself and I remember thinking I'm doing so much good helping kids. <laughs> kind of a big deal around here. <laughs> People know me. <laughs> Now, with age, I look back and I, I realize now that these kids were really teaching me far more than I ever taught them. I love the sport of wrestling. People are always telling me, they come up and they say, wrestling builds character, doesn't it? No. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't. Wrestling exposes character. Uh, all of you guys have seen it, you coaches. The kids will come out, they'll last a day or two, sometimes a week. And then there's this kid who's quiet, shy, introverted. He has no confidence. And he suddenly discovers that he really is a lot tougher than he thought. Wrestling, to me, is the hard rock that we dash ourselves against to discover how strong we are. And I'm grateful to wrestling for that. This is an incredible honor for me to be up here with this company. I, I look at what these guys have done, and I, I think, what am I doing here? And it, this is so humbling. Um, but the greatest thing about tonight is that this has brought me back into contact with so many wrestlers that I had lost contact with. Um, Mark Powell, for instance, uh, who came here from uh, Las Vegas tonight, he left school in 1974, and I never heard or saw or knew what happened to him again, and I always wondered. And I came home two nights ago back in Oregon, and there was Mark's message on my machine. And he was here tonight, and, uh, oh yeah. Um, it, <laughs> it, it's, it was so wonderful to see him and so many other guys that, that came. Um, it's just, it's been the best part of it. I'd like to thank you guys all for coming. I'm glad that this all brought us back together again. Thank you.